Greetings! This is Mel Darwin speaking and today I will be doing an autumn tag video inspired by Kozi Kitsune on uh, Instagram and also on YouTube. So I hope uh, you will enjoy this video and I'm looking forward for your comments and your recommendations. So let's begin and I am also using my camera now for recording. It's pretty dark outside and I don't know how to record with a camera or how to take photos with a camera to be honest. I don't know how to use this but I have to use it for my photography lesson and now I'm utilizing it for this video. Hopefully it will be much better in quality than my webcam. So let's begin. <laughs> yes. So the first question is spooky autumn or cozy autumn? <laughs> Definitely cozy autumn. <laughs> I guess the spooky side is warning me because some of my stuff randomly fell onto the floor. <laughs> Definitely not spooked out by this. Spooky autumn or cozy autumn? The answer would be that I choose cozy autumn even though I really like the spooky aspects like Halloween or some sewing moments celebration and pagan aspects of this season as well but I guess I would choose the coziness, the rain falling from the sky while everything goes grey and I'm sitting in my home or in the uni building sipping from my uh, coffee or tea and doing homework or just chilling and looking at my phone, interacting with you guys and yes, this is my choice and also snuggling with my kitty so yes, cozy autumn is the best in my opinion the next question, a fall activity that you'd like to try spending Sovereign or Halloween with a close friend of mine uh, doing some activities together, cozying up together watching movies maybe, baking something or just talking about uh, deep stuff or general life I would be really glad if I had a friend like that who lived close by or if I was not a very lonely person in general but yes, that would be the fall activity I'd really like to try next question, a ghoul, ghost or monster? I really like ghosts even though I'm really creeped out by them I for some reason find them fascinating and they are amongst my favorite mythical creatures so yes, I choose ghosts among this list favorite animated spooky film I must admit that I do not remember most of the movies or cartoons that I have watched my memory as I have mentioned can be really horrifying in some aspects and that is why I have to think about it and this will take ages therefore I guess I will not be able to answer this but I can say that even though it's not my favorite uh, animated feature the Alice in Wonderland of Disney, uh, the cartoon one really used to creep me out especially the part where Alice goes to Wonderland and it's nighttime as far as I remember because I have watched it many years ago and I was really uh, horrified by the scenes but there was an owl as far as I remember and that bird with accordion shape and the music was very unsettling for me so it's not my favorite uh, uh, spooky movie but it was really creepy for me gore, supernatural or thriller? definitely supernatural but it can have some gore aspects maybe I don't like watching pure gore I actually cannot watch gore in general but I have read such fan fictions <laughs> and yes in general the Silmarillion would be if it was made into a movie or a TV series it would definitely have some gore aspects I guess which I wouldn't mind but I don't like pure gore but yes I as I wanted to say maybe supernatural with some gore elements, some dark themes and lots of tragedy with magic involved I mean by magic not necessarily spell casting and stuff but some really supernatural events going on would be my favorite but yes the supernatural aspect would cover all of them right? I am very uh, brain dead at the moment yes next question something you're excited to wear this fall I am excited to wear layered clothing even more than this actually I'm not wearing any layers at the moment because I'm at home by the way this lovely necklace is by Lainelin uh, or 
Rosemary Faye and she makes such lovely stuff. Look at this chain mail beauty that I'm wearing. It's very light and comfortable and I since the day I have received it, I am wearing it constantly, which has been less than a mo less than a sorry week, but it's still very much appreciated. So please check her shop. She also has a lovely YouTube account, so please check it. And the next question song that reminds you of autumn i actually have songs that remind me of winter but i have never thought of songs that remind me of autumn but when i think about that i will just randomly mm, show myself on the screen and uh, okay when i finally find my answer i will insert a link below or maybe even put some uh, bits and pieces from the song right here and I will be just randomly staying like this uh, for a few seconds so you can listen the non-existent video non-existent video at the moment but it will hopefully exist someday when I upload this <laughs> What did you dress up as last Halloween? I was dressed up as Sauron from the Lord of the Rings, but his Silmarillion version. So as he was the servant of Morgoth or Melkor, who, uh, whichever one you prefer to name him. I normally call him Melkor, but now I will uh, describe him as Morgoth because I am a pure Noldo by heart. And as, uh, as we Fanorians would say, yeah, Morgoth. Morgoth it is, but yes, before rambling more, I dressed up as Sauron as the servant of Morgoth and as he appears in the Silmarillion and I didn't have contact lenses uh, in the color that I desired, which was gold, so I edited my eyes, but I will insert some photo here, hopefully. And then I, for the, for a Halloween party last year, I also dressed up as my dress. Uh, I don't like parties, but I endured it for all my friends. And this year, I also dressed up as my dress because I didn't want to wear a wig, <laughs> which is a hassle. And I didn't have any contacts for Sauron again. And so my dress is my to go when I want to just have some fun. And I also feel very fierce when I'm wearing a costume of him. And when I become him in this sense, I feel stronger and I feel more confident. So yes, my dress it was this year. And last year, as I said, it was Sauron plus my dress. But mainly Sauron on the day itself. Would you prefer your arms or legs to be chilly? I would prefer my arms to be chilly because if my legs were frozen in this sense, then I wouldn't be able to walk. But if my arms are frozen, then I will not be able to use my phone either, but I prefer walking, I guess, and I would somehow uh, maybe grab some tea and heat up my hands, so everything would be alright, I guess. And next question, favorite serial killer? I have no idea. I don't have a favorite serial killer, if this makes sense, except for, I mean, if we are talking about not real people or not realistic fictional people then my favorite killer would be again Sauron or Mani Marco but they are too fictional I mean the, the words they are set in uh, do not resemble our world at all and maybe I'm just rambling a lot at the moment but yes if I could choose these options I would say Sauron from Tolkien's Legendarium uh, or Mani Marco from the Elder Scrolls series uh, favorite thing to do in a graveyard? I am honestly scared by the vibes and <laughs> I yet do not have anyone to visit in the graveyard, which I'm very fortunate about. Uh, yes, I have not lost someone that dear to me and I did not have to visit a graveyard to yes, uh, remember about them, to reminisce about them. So I feel lucky about this and I, the graveyards in Turkey are not very aesthetically pleasing. They are unkempt most of the times and they have a very creepy vibe surrounding them. 
and it's very unsettling. Favorite thing to do in a graveyard doesn't exist in my mind at the moment. The next question, ever been on a supernatural tour? Does Castlefest count? It's not a supernatural tour, but it was a supernatural kind of experience with lots of magical vibes surrounding me. And I truly enjoyed Castlefest, but I will not be able to attend uh, this year probably because of my fears of being a bother to people and my yes, general fear of people and being unwanted, the feeling of being unwanted and yes, I cannot do it. <laughs> favorite autumn leaf? I guess the leaves of oak trees would be my favorite autumn leaf. What is your favorite fall food? My favorite fall food would be pumpkin flavor something. <laughs> I like pumpkin soup that my mother makes. I always like pasta. I always like salads. So I don't have anything specific as a favorite except for pumpkin related uh, food. And favorite fall makeup look. Makeup looks like this. I regularly do uh, on a daily basis. My favorite makeup look is either some Halloween inspired looks or some daily makeup looks like this. Yes, this is not very successful. <laughs> By the way, I'm holding a ring in my hand. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm just fidgeting because I'm very nervous as usual, but yes, random information. <laughs> and the last question would be the sound of falling rain or cracking fireplace. Oh no, this is a very difficult question indeed. But I guess I would choose the sound of cracking fireplace because it's so cozy and wonderful. Even though I don't have a fireplace, I can technically launch a video of a fireplace and play it on my laptop or on my phone and it's indeed very cozy <laughs> yay so this is the end of my autumn tag uh, and if you would like to do this as well please do it it's very fun and i'm tagging mm, i'm tagging my friend lana and also i'm tagging lineline uh, again, a friend of mine, hopefully. I'm not sure who to call my friends because I'm always very scared if I'm overstepping my boundaries and if people want me, I always have this concern. I'm tagging Lainelin, Lana and uh, Purika, and that's all I guess. But if you want to do it and I haven't tagged you, please still consider yourself tagged. I'm scared because I might be overstepping my boundaries if I'm inviting you to do this tag I'm not really sure if I should tag you and I'm very nervous in general so please forgive me if you're not tagged but still consider yourself tagged so thank you so much for uh, watching my video I talked too much all oh my I talked a lot and I talked a lot which is not something that I <laughs> I talked a lot now which is something that I rarely do and I'm not used to talking this much and my throat aches at the moment so forgive my raspy voice I'm really surprised that I was able to talk this much without rambling a lot I rambled a lot, I know and I'm going to cut some bits, some mistakes from this video so you will not see my full rambling but yes, I rambled a lot and the battery is dying so thank you so so much for watching and I hope this